Sophie, the Duchess of Edinburgh, embraced a fellow spectator after Team Great Britain made history at the 2024 Paris Olympics, sparking interest in royal protocol. On August 5, Prince Edward's wife celebrated at the St. Quentin en Yvelines Velodrome when the British track cycling team won gold in the women's team sprint, marking their first medal in this event and setting a world record time of 45.186 seconds. A video shared on X by the royal family's official account shows Sophie, 59, cheering, raising her arms, and hugging the man next to her as the event unfolded. Yes, the Duchess exclaimed as she applauded. While the hug was more informal than the typical bows and curtsies associated with the British royals, there are no strict rules for interacting with them. According to the royal family's website, not yet fully updated after Queen Elizabeth's death in September 2022, there is no mandatory etiquette, but many people wish to observe the traditional forms. For men, this involves a neck bow, from the head only, while women do a small curtsy. Others prefer simply to shake hands, the guidance suggests. Royal family members seem to have relaxed their adherence to traditional protocol in recent years, engaging in public hugs and smiling for selfies. Sophie's enthusiastic response to the performance by Katie Marchant, Sophie Capewell, and Emma Finucane highlighted her connection to the sport. The Duchess previously participated in a 450-mile cycling challenge from Edinburgh to Buckingham Palace for the Duke of Edinburgh's award in 2016, reported the BBC. She undertook this challenge years before King Charles gave Prince Edward the title of Duke of Edinburgh, a title intended for Edward since his marriage to Sophie in 1999. Sophie became the Duchess of Edinburgh when King Charles confirmed the change on Edward's birthday in March 2023. She is also the patron of the British Cycling Federation. The Duchess of Edinburgh isn't the first royal to offer a hug during an Olympic moment. Prince William and Kate Middleton shared an excited embrace at the 2012 London Olympics when Team Great Britain won a cycling event. While the Paris Olympics has seen many royals this summer, the Prince and Princess of Wales have not yet attended the Games, which began on July 26. Prince William and Princess Kate, both 42, have been spending time with their children, Prince George, 11, Princess Charlotte, 9, and Prince Louis, 6, during their school break. They might visit Paris before the Olympics conclude on August 11, but Princess Kate's plans may depend on her health as she continues cancer treatment. The princess announced in March that she is undergoing chemotherapy and made her second public appearance of the year at Wimbledon with Princess Charlotte and her sister Pippa Middleton on July 14. Being with her family and just being herself will give her energy. There will be plenty of time to focus on her recovery, a palace insider told people regarding Princess Kate's summer of recovery.